people uh, go swimming, uh, not expecting to be uh, swimming in uh, what would be a, a large toilet for uh, other swimmers. Beyond that, there's some really good scientific reasons why it's not good to pee in the pool. Primarily, pee consists, consists of a lot of nitrogen, and when that combines with uh, chlorine, it forms irritant uh, compounds uh, that will make the eyes red, in some cases uh, uh, itch the skin. Uh, it's really important to have free chlorine to kill bacteria and germs in the water, and when it combines with uh, uh, pee and other uh, organic compounds, it depletes the free chlorine and doesn't make the pool as uh, safe and healthy for swimming as it should. All of us have uh, perspiration and uh, sometimes uh, we have body oils on uh, when we're at the pool and, and those uh, come off the body when, when you go swimming and so that uh, adds a burden uh, to the pool for it to ha have clean water. In other words, it, it can consume some of the chlorine that's in the water. And uh, we want to have uh, uh, an adequate amount of sanitizer in the water to make sure that the germs that come off our bodies are killed. And so uh, if we take a shower that's um, uh, one minute uh, before we go into a pool, it removes uh, uh, 90 plus percent of the contaminants that are on our body that would uh, interfere with the, with the sanitizer in the pool. When they smell chlorine, they think that there's too much chlorine in a pool, and that's really not the chlorine itself, but compounds of uh, chlorine, and that, that indicates that there's not enough free chlorine in the pool to kill germs and bacteria.